if you're good at it, you can do just about any sport. And WBIR 10 News sports reporter Luke Slabaugh introduces us to a girl who's using her talents on the beams in basketball. Meet 10-year-old Mackenzie Stewart. I am a level 7 gymnast and I have a lot of friends here. Chalk up her talents to her reckless nature on the bars and the beams. Mom watches intently. Um, it's terrifying. You know, we joke and say she's not aware of her own well-being and safety because she's got a broken foot and she still tries to do everything she can do. But she's always just been a daredevil. So she, um, this is the perfect sport for her because she gets to do all kinds of fun tricks. One day, she took those acrobat skills to the basketball court. And of course, we thought that was silly. She'd never get it, but. But. She did. The Stewarts posted her trick shots on Twitter, and lo and behold, the Harlem Globetrotters shared it, leaving Mackenzie a special message. Hey, Mackenzie, that was an amazing trick shot. Thanks for participating in our World Trick Shot Day. I would love to see you on our 2017 tour. How does she do it? I don't know really, I just tried it. You need flexibility for us to do it though. <laughs> and knowing Mackenzie, she'll keep on attempting those trick shots. For really pleasure. <laughs> In Knox County, Luke Slaybaugh, WBIR, 10 Sports. You're a senior, you're the only true senior on the team. You got Mercedes as a fourth year junior, you got Kui transferring in, but only person who's been here four years, played all four years, must have flown by, yeah. It did. Uh, me and my coaches always talk about how they've come out to see me like five years ago, and it's like a blink of an eye that it's already here. And after this season, it's the pros. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, hopefully try and play pro, either overseas or get drafted or get picked up from the WBA. Go somewhere. Beautiful, like New York, LA. This season's been kind of, it's been kind of interesting because you guys have had some great wins against yeah. tough, tough opponents. And then some nights it's just, you know, it's not there. How, how would you pinpoint the, the problems, I guess, would it be? This, this is the poor performances. Is it, is it sometimes focus? Is it, what is it? Um, I would say it's focus, really, because we've gone and played Notre Dame, for example. We played Notre Dame, had a great win. Add on our home floor and then we had to go away and we play Auburn and we had to go back in the SEC so it's refocusing our mind from an ACC game a big challenge to going back and playing the SEC team and not taking anyone with any different types of records you know the same so you got to treat every team the same. We were talking just a few minutes ago that you said how you're going to remember your time here is based strictly on what happens in the next couple weeks. Yeah if we get our team back to the final four it'll be something that I think my team will be remembered for. You know, we haven't had the best success in the past couple of years, but if we get back there, it doesn't really matter what our record was, and people will remember that more than anything. You hear a lot of outside talk from our coaches. We don't read it, but they tell us, like, how people are downing us. Everyone's just going to have to sit back and watch. What's, like, your best shot? What's your signature, signature shot that you make? My highest percentage is coming off of a screen, maybe from the right side, from Sadie's. Regular pull up. You wanna run it? Of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna be Mercedes Russell with like yeah. four defenders on me. <laughs> Where's Jordan? Where's Jordan? And when? Oh, yep. Yep, yep. And there we go. Got you to my screen. Blocks everyone else. <laughs> hey! There it is. Do you have any cool trick shots? Trick shots? Yes. Our team, our AAU team, when we were in middle school, we would always do this shot before practice. And it was the first one to make it. You have to put your feet together, it's the dumbest thing. Put your feet together on the out of bounds. If you can't jump, you're supposed to make it. I, don't, I haven't done this in years. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Man, that would have been sick. <laughs> wow. Well, Jordan, that's all I got. Oh, Anything well, else thank you got? You. Oh, that's all. Nice, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Some people dream of playing at Neyland Stadium. But for Donnie Kenner, it's becoming a reality. Kind of. My wife came on and says, oh my God, I can't believe you did this. It's not apparent just what possessed Kenner to turn his driveway into the shrine of Neyland Stadium. I don't know, it just hit me. I said, well, Tiss, he's going to do it this year. Why not? Show, show your colors, because I've always been a Tennessee fan all the way. I wouldn't do this if I wasn't. The lifelong Tennessean spent almost a week putting this together, motivated by his high hopes for football season. You tease, you tease it, and the way I look at it, they're going to be 13-0 this year. One way or the other, they're going to do it. Now, Mr. Kenner's driveway is about 10 feet wide, and if you're throwing the football around, what you'll need to do is go a full 45 feet to touchdown. It's not perfect, but he's not done yet on his masterpiece. I ran out of paint, that's what it was. Didn't have no more orange or no more white. Soon everything will be in orange and white. Donnie has his driveway to admire before the Vols grab hold of his heart again. I think they're going to do it this year. I really do. They've got the talent and they've got a heck of a good coach. As uh, Coach Jones says, brick by brick. And I've got them brick by brick over there on the other side. So He was a delight to hang out with. The season kicks off September 1st at Neyland Stadium against Appalachian State. Yelia Southern scales walls for fun. She's nine, but considers herself a veteran. Well, I started climbing trees when I was like three, two, four, six, eight. Changing direction gives her a hard time. Oh, come on. I need more slack. But a solid attitude and lots of practice have made her a rock star. Take! 11 year old Harper Allen finds freedom on the ropes. Well, like, you can do anything you want on the climb, like, like it's your decision what you do on the problem. One time I had to be in a position and it was just, I guess like this maybe, I had to heel hook. After a childlike shenanigan, Hello. or several, Don't wait. the two girls lock in, ready to rock. They catch on fast. It's just their first year competing on the wall. Um, usually it takes forever for um, a few years till somebody go gets to nationals. Both are former gymnasts who wanted a bolder challenge. Well, it just kind of got um, boring. They're slated to compete in next weekend's rock climbing nationals, the biggest challenge they'll have faced yet. And you're just like, oh gosh, what do I do? Oh no, I've never seen this. Soon, they plan to meet each other at the top with each other at first place. And these talented girls will be competing at nationals the 13th through the 16th. That's Thursday through Sunday in Kennesaw, Georgia. For now, we'll send things back to you. Christian? Whee! <laughs>